Welcome to Cave Branch. This is my property up here. Uh, this is the off-road, off-grid site. And I'm going to show you some of the resources that I have and how I'm utilizing them and how I will utilize them in the future. And hopefully, through trial and error, I can make more power. Uh, this house is totally off the grid and it is most definitely off-road because as you can see that is a creek and that is what we drive through to get up here and no wires running to the house uh, no transformer that is the end of the civilization right there it comes in from that way and once they get to here they stop and we don't take anything off of that line telephone TV nothing we may get TV one of these days but I get internet through uh, a wireless through, through my cell phone get electricity through a couple of different sources that is one of them uh, you have to look at your property and you have to see what resources do I have and I have seen for years all this water going right past my house right on down the creek completely being wasted you know, I mean it's not wasted but it's passing over my property without me getting any benefit out of it besides maybe the noise of the water running and all that so I decided I want to get some use out of that water and I'm going to make me some power. Well, right there, what I have, an old wire spool that I got for free. Everything here was free, um, except for the magnet to convert the alternator. That's the only thing I spent any money on. Um, I had everything else. I even had the alternator. Um, I had all the lumber, except for there's one board right there and all the boards in the paddle. Those were all given to me uh, because they were warped, cracked, whatever, you know. Probably wouldn't have been good to use them on like a, a house or something, finishing a house or whatever. But they worked great for that. Uh, it's just one by 12 that I put in. I measured the circumference of the wheel took it apart and it's spaced a foot apart and then each one is spaced about 10 inches apart and it seems to work really good I've got it balanced uh, show you some details here of what I did I use that is a wheel bearing from a car a front wheel drive car and I got a piece of all thread rod going through it I got a wheel bearing on each side the all thread rod is tightened up to a sprocket here off of an old bicycle and it runs a bicycle wheel and as you can see it sped that up then the bicycle wheel was perfect to use as a pulley, it actually, look how nice that fits down in there, it's perfect. The wheel's warped a little bit, or the rim's warped, but it doesn't hurt anyone. And then that goes to an alternator. Now this is not just a standard car, well it is a standard car alternator, it's come off a Cavalier, but it has been converted. It's now a permanent magnet alternator. As you can see, there's only the two wires, one going to the hot terminal and one going to the ground. But it's nothing going to the field because there's no brushes in it anymore. Uh, I just pulled out the rotor and uh, I'll show you how I did all that later on. But I'm surprised at how well it works. Now, let me see. Uh, try to do this with uh, one hand here. 
without getting the uh, meter wet. Okay, I'll hold the meter right there and see if I can get a shot of the meter. Okay. Now, if I touch... the positive right here and the this is hard to do with one hand well right now I'm getting about 40 volts and that is spinning at that speed so I took the magnet it was spinning right fast it won't spin any faster than that um, with any type of load on it, but you take that off and this wheel just whizz around. Now that comes out of the alternator, up and into this pipe. The pipe goes underground, up into the house. And next, oh yeah, this is my off switch. To turn the wheel off, I take this rock and I put it right down in there. It stops the water. That's my off switch. Now, I will show you the other end. Now, uh, this is inside the house. That is showing that I'm getting a charge into the battery right now. And that wire from that alternator comes right into this charge controller from a camper. It's 110 volts originally and I've done a little tinkering around with it and reworked it some. It still works on the 110 volt part but it also regulates, has a small regulator inside to regulate it down. It actually regulates it down to nothing less than about 14 and a half but right now it's only showing 13 and a half because the batteries were a little low and my batteries are just there's a few of them under this well it runs a thousand watt power inverter and let me move this and as you can see my batteries are just old car batteries and yes, I don't get as much use out of these as I would if I used uh, that one's not even hooked up. It's it's still good, but I haven't got it hooked up yet. Um, if I were to use deep cycle batteries like I probably should, the problem with that would be they're expensive. I got these. Some of them were free. Uh, let's see. This one come in an old car I had, an old Mercedes. Uh, that one was gave to me. I gave $10 for that one, gave $10 for that one. And I got this one. A guy had took his old battery, or took that battery out of his truck, and he had bought a new one, and that was going to be his core. And I gave him an old one that was absolutely no good at all for that one. So. I got like 20 bucks in all of these batteries and they'll run like lights and TV all night and yeah they won't last as long as deep cycle and I would like to get deep cycles soon but that's just what I have for right now. I'm trying to do all this on the cheap but okay this power inverter it's I got it at I think Advance or AutoZone or something like that and I'm going to mount it up and everything later but as you can see it's got an output it shows how many watts are being output here in a second well there's nothing on right now and it shows you how many volts you have going into it now this is all free power this is gravity powering all this just the flow of water is powering this inverter giving me 110 volts through these batteries and I mean to me that's kind of amazing you know I'm getting this for nothing I'm getting this power for nothing and I 
and it runs constantly all the time and that and that alternator puts out a whole lot now if you get a lot of drain on it and you put a big load on this inverter that water wheel slows way down but it keeps because of the voltage regulator that I put inside there it keeps the voltage up enough that it keeps the batteries charged unless of course it completely stops which it has done before that's why I need more power sources now I need to go through and do a list of the different resources that are on this property.